You don't have to know how to drive to know how annoying traffic jams are. What is the worst one that you guys have been in? I'm pretty sure it's going to look like nothing when you see how long some of the ones in this video are. It's kind of crazy. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 longest traffic jams in history. If you like the shirt and the hat or either of those, don't forget to head on over to mostamazingshop.com to pick up your most amazing clothing right after this video. All right, at the number 10 spot now, we have Woodstock. Woodstock 1969 was one of the most legendary music festivals of all time. If you haven't watched anything from it, I highly suggest you do. Anyway, it was organized chaos. Over 400,000 people attended, almost 10 times the anticipated number. However, it's thought that almost a million people tried to get in. This ended up causing a 10 mile long traffic jam on the New York Thruway that last the entire three day festival. Many people got so fed up they simply ditched their cars in the road and just walked the rest of the way. This of course made the traffic jam even worse. But hey, if you ever meet anyone that went to this, I'm sure they'll say the traffic jam is the last thing they talk about. All right, next up at number nine now, we have Highway M. On the 30th of November 2012, a snowstorm in Russia led to several inches of snow burying many roads around Moscow. Highway M goes between Moscow and St. Petersburg, Russia's two main cities. The government had to close parts of it to make it safe to drive on again. This caused a huge traffic jam that lasted for three whole days. Oh, and that whole time it was absolutely freezing. At one point it got so bad that the government ended up setting up tents and supply stations for the motorists. They even provided psychological counseling for some people. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably go crazy too in a three day traffic jam. All right, at the number eight spot now, we have the Berlin Wall. In April 1990, five months after the Berlin Wall came down that separated East and West Germany, many East Germans began the journey into the West. The road they used usually averaged about half a million vehicles a day. On April 12th though, that number reached 18 million cars in just a single day. This of course caused major delays, but I'm sure many of the motorists thought the traffic was a small pipe. This of course caused major delays, but I'm sure many of the motorists thought the traffic was a small price to pay for the wall coming down. Coming at number seven now, we have Lyon, Paris. In February 1980, France claimed the record for the longest traffic jam in terms of distance. A combination of skiers returning from their winter vacation and bad weather conditions led to a traffic jam that was 109 miles long. That's about 175 kilometers. That's a traffic jam that would span the same distance as there is between New York and Washington DC. Some motorists were stuck there for four hours. I really hope the skiing was well worth it. All right, moving on to number six now, we have Tokyo. With over nine million people in it, it's not too surprising that Japan's capital has suffered one of the worst traffic jams in history. On August 12th, 1990, many people were returning home after celebrating the Obon Festival, where families gather to pay their respects to their ancestors. Now, unfortunately, this happened at the same time as a typhoon warning in the area, which many people had to evacuate from. 84 miles of highway came to a standstill, involving over 15,000 cars. Bloody typhoons, eh? Who needs them? All right, at the number five spot now, we have Chicago. On February 1st, 2011, the Windy City suffered one of its worst blizzards ever. 20.2 inches of snow fell in such a short amount of time. That's over a foot and a half. Commuters along Lakeshore Drive heading northbound out of Chicago were hit the hardest. The weather there brought traffic to a standstill and snow literally buried cars. Drivers were torn between being buried in their cars or just facing the icy conditions outside. Some of them were stuck for almost 12 hours hours before traffic began moving again. Moving on to number four now, we have Houston. In 2005, residents of Houston, Texas were urged to evacuate the city. Hurricane Rita was on its way and nobody wanted to be around when she arrived. An estimated two and a half million people hit the major roads out of the city, a recipe for traffic disaster. Interstate 45 was the main evacuation route and saw a 100 mile long queue, which didn't move for over 48 hours. It was bad, but not as bad as not evacuating, which could have caused thousands of casualties. Next up at number three now, we have 9-11. Now of course, for many people, the horrific events of 9-11 itself are all that people remember. But it makes it onto this list because of traffic that the event caused. As many of you can probably understand, New Yorkers were desperate to get out of the city's downtown that day in their cars, not knowing if there would be another attack. However, police had to shut down all roads and redirect traffic in order to allow emergency
emergency vehicles to get to the scene. On top of that, all public transportation was closed in the city, which forced more people into their cars. For many people that day, their memory is of standing next to their cars in standstill traffic, hoping to get away as quickly as possible. Coming in at number two now, we have Atlanta, USA. In places like Canada, Scandinavia, or Russia, roads and infrastructures are built to withstand heavy snow. You can't really say the same about Atlanta, Georgia, though. The roads and vehicles there were crippled in 2014 by just a couple of inches of snow. At one point, a baby was born in the traffic jam because her parents couldn't reach the hospital in time. Luckily, paramedics reached them not long after, and the baby was totally fine. Every traffic jam has a silver lining. And finally, at number one now, we have Highway 110. On August 14th, 2010, what most people consider to be the longest traffic jam of all time began on Highway 110 in China. The route runs for hundreds of miles from northwest China all the way to Beijing. It was already a heavily congested road, and on this this day, everything went wrong. There was a heavy spike in traffic due to more trucks than usual, many of them carrying coal because the railways were full. There was also major maintenance work going on, which reduced road capacity by 50%. Add in a few breakdowns and accidents, and a traffic jam started that lasted for 12 hours days and stretched over 60 miles. Yeah, you heard me right. Some people were stuck on this road for five whole days. Locals along the highway sold motorists, noodles, water, and cigarettes at inflated prices. After almost two weeks, the highway finally began to clear, and authorities learned a valuable lesson in traffic management. Well, I'm kind of exhausted just talking about those. If you guys can give your legs a big stretch right now, I suggest you do just that, in memory of all those people who were stuck in their cars for hours and hours and hours. And anyway, my name is Danny Burke. Thanks for watching guys, as always, and I will see you all in the next video. If you like this, then you may like cars. So you may like our top 10 craziest police car chases and our top 10 crazy cars you won't believe exist. <laughs>